Okay, this will be video five in the Leathercraft series and it will also focus on stitching. Let's get started. The last video focused on how I prepare things for stitching, but this video will take you through how I actually stitch things. So some of the things I use for this, I have uh, leather specific needles. The only difference really is that they're not as sharp um, because we pre-punch our holes, you don't really need sharp needles. And there's a big eye on these as well, which helps when you're actually threading them. Okay, and I use uh, just a thick thread. You can buy these waxed. The thread I have here isn't waxed, so I'll, I'll do that myself. And I also use a lighter, just for burning the ends of the thread. Okay, so the stitch I use is called a saddle stitch. I use this for everything, and that's that's pretty common in, in leather work. The, the method that people use tends to vary slightly, but the principle tends to be the same throughout. This is a two needle method, so it uses one length of string with a needle at either end. In every hole, both needles pass through in a sort of figure of eight. So that essentially gives you two stitching lines, which means if a stitch fails for whatever reason and starts to unravel, you still have that second row of stitching, meaning that your pieces won't come apart. It might seem like overkill in a lot of examples, but the intention with these products is that they're gonna last a very long time. The first thing I do is just measure out the length of thread that I'm gonna need, and then I'll thread one of the needles and I'll burn the end here which helps you lock it off and just pass the needle through the thread just to make a knot at the end. And then I'll do that at the other side as well. Once I have the needle threaded, I'll start my stitching. So I'll go to the third hole down from the start and I'll pass the needle through and just find the middle. And then once I've done that, I'll work back towards the top. That's called back stitching. And I'll pass both the needles through and just pull that tight. And I'll carry on until I get to the start of the stitching line and then I'll just go back on myself and carry on all the way down. With each of those I'll pull the threads as tight as possible just to make sure that I really have a really tight stitch and yeah I'll just carry that all the way down to the end of my stitching line and then I'll do the same again here. I'll come back two stitches just to tie that end off and make sure it's really strong. I'll decide what I want to be the back of the piece and I'll make sure that both needles are on that side and I'll just pull those two pieces of thread nice and tight and I'll just snip the thread quite close to the piece and I'll just take my lighter and burn the ends and just give that a little rub as well. So once I have the stitching line done, the last thing to do is just to tidy up the edges and finish those properly. Stay tuned, I'll upload a video on edge finishing next week. And if you have any ideas about videos you would like to see, anything you'd like me to go into more detail on, just let me know. I'm looking to start new videos because we are coming to the end of this series now. Okay, thanks very much. Welcome to part five in the Leathercraft series. This one focuses also on stitching. That was good English. Well done, Paul. <laughs>